It's now time to learn about enums, and enums in Rust are uh, pretty fun. Uh, you'll find them very useful. They look uh, they look a lot like structs. Um, you know, when we uh, when we looked at uh, named structs, we uh, you know we use this keyword here, and then we give it a name, and then we have a uh, you know this code block, and this was a uh, named struct, and the enum is a uh, defined or it's made in the same way. Uh, you uh, instead of struct, you write enum. You use the same uh, you know capitalization, so like choice of things like that. Except uh, an enum is a uh, is about choices. So uh, you know, enum means uh, enumeration. So it's like a list of choices, basically. And in other languages, you might uh, know them as uh, algebraic data types, like uh, F sharp or OCaml. Uh, so an enum. Um, the thing you want to know about the uh, the difference between a struct and an enum is a struct is um, something and something and something. So it's putting a, a lot of things together. And an enum is uh, something or something or something. So it's about making one choice. And uh, you might, uh, you see enums in, uh, in a lot of uh, games, for example. Um, and the uh, what you do is you make your, uh, your variants inside here and you just, uh, the simplest way is just to give them a name. So you can have like up, down, left, Right, and that is what an enum looks like. And the one that, uh, the example I put together in uh, in the book, uh, looks like this. So we got the main function here, <clears throat> and then uh, up here we have an enum called uh, things in the sky. Hmm? Things in the sky. And, uh, okay, what's in the sky? You have, uh, you have the sun, you have the star, you have stars, and you can put a comma there or take it out. It's up to you. And uh, there you go. So our enum is done. And there you go. So rest is just saying you never use this, and that's uh, that's fine. So let's uh, let's look at how we're going to use it. Uh, let's imagine that we uh, so we're using a, we're having a program where um, you put in the the hour of the day. And then uh, depending on uh, on the hour of the day, it'll say uh, you can see the sun or you can uh, you can just see the stars. So we'll call this uh, call this function uh, create sky state. And then uh, the state we're going to uh, do an enum a uh, reference to things uh, in the sky. So of course we want a reference because we don't want to. Uh, you know, bring it in and uh, and destroy it, and uh, and then let's see. Actually, not uh, not state. Create sky state. We want. Uh, oh, that's right. I'll get to this in a second. Okay, so we're making a uh, a sky state, and uh, it's going to uh, return a things in the sky. That's what it is. And then we're going to uh, return this based on the uh, on the time. So we go match time, and then we uh, go from six to eight to eighteen, which is uh, this is daytime. And uh, I'm going to uh, tell you about this in just a second. Uh, things in the sky, sun. So we uh, to. Uh, to choose the uh, the variance of an enum, you use its name, and then you have uh, two colons, and then uh, and then you choose the one. And it's the same as uh, anything else in Rust. You have to choose, or you have to tell Rust what to do with every situation. So this, uh, I'll just show you. This is not going to work. Not yet, because of course it's saying uh, you know what. Uh, what are you going to do with, uh, you know, outside of these numbers, six to eighteen, and i thirty two can be can be many numbers, and then um, and then also with, uh, let's say for example, uh, we made it, this into a boolean, and then we said match time is true. This will also not work 
because uh, we're only dealing with uh, you know true and and uh, and we haven't told it what to do with false. And later on, when we when we match a uh, if you match on an enum, then you have to uh, tell it what to do with uh, with both this and both this. So let's go back to this. Uh, so for any other number, we are going to say things in the sky and stars. And so it'll return uh, it'll return this enum to us. And then we're going to uh, make another one called check sky state. And this is the one that uh, I started uh, making before, but uh, with the reference to the things in the sky. So we're going to give this a reference to the enum, and it's going to check it and do something depending on the state. So you go match state, and uh, there are two possible you know, states for this thing in the sky. So there is uh, things in the sky, and there's sun, and we're going to say, we're going to print, uh, I can see the sun, and then the other possibility is things in the sky, stars, and then we will print out, I can see the stars. And then down here, in our main function, let's, uh, let's give it a time. So let time equals eight, and then we are going to, uh, let's create a sky, a sky state. So we uh, will do this, uh, sky state equals uh, create sky state time. And then we will check it with the, uh, with the function sky state. And then we give a reference to sky state. And then it's going to print. Let's see. Oh, I forgot the comma. There we go. So it says, I can see the sun. So let's, uh, let's go over this one more time, just so you can uh, understand how this works. So we made this i32 here, and then we put it into this function called, called create sky state. And this takes in an i32, and it will match it to give us uh, a variant of the enum. So it'll give us either this, or it'll give us this. And so this becomes uh, the enum itself. And then uh, we can take this and we pass it in as a reference so it doesn't die and uh, put it into this check sky state. And it's going to be either this or it's going to be this. And actually, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the error if we don't, uh, don't include this situation. And there it is. So it says non-exhaustive patterns. You didn't tell me about stars. So you have to always tell uh, tell Rust with an enum exactly what to do with every branch because uh, it's not going to let you fail that way. Um, and then the, the last thing I wanted to show you here is this uh, this six to uh, to eighteen. We've seen uh, this is a range, and this means uh, six up to and including eighteen. So if you have like. Uh, six to eight, for example. This means uh, six, seven, and eight. And you see this pattern a lot in, uh, when, you're, when you're comparing for, uh, for enums.